challenges of the church in my context. Uh, first, uh, to become a church where the youth finds basis to build their lives. The adolescence and youth is the stage of life in which the individual must arrive among others to be aware of themselves. And this involves taking decisions that are fundamental in the course which will take his life. These decisions are related to the work that they will have, where they are going to live, the form that they will express their sexuality, the couple with whom they will share their life, and most importantly, they must decide in this stage the principles that will be the foundation of their moral values. The church has the answers that can help young people to make these decisions, but unfortunately, it is not always using appropriate channels nor adapts easily to properly deliver these answers. Recently, some years ago, we had so flourish in South America ministries dedicated seriously and effectively to youth needs. But in the context of the Baptist Church in Chile, this is still a great deficit. <coughs> we must understand that youth ministry is fundamental in the life of the church, and accordingly, all resources that are available must be dedicated for the effective implementation of this, so that youth can find a place where they are understood and loved by God in the church and where they can find answers to their concerns. Two, that the church can recognize the emotional needs of persons and have the ability to react to them. We live in a world incre increasingly competitive and demanding for success. Added to other social and economic elements like demographic factors as sex and age, poverty and other deficiencies, serious threats as conflicts and disasters, the presence of major physical diseases and family problems, they all combine to harm the mental health of persons. The WHO, the World Health Organization, predicted that in 2020, that is 10 years more, Depression will occupy the second place of diseases that cause greater disability in the world. And that means also a, a very economic issue, a very great economic issue. Some statistics says that uh, between 15 to 30 percent of the populations uh, may have in their life uh, a, a, a depression uh, episode. So uh, how many are here? Uh, 15? Well, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I have my card if you need some. <laughs> no, no, seriously, this is an issue. Yes. Depression combines biological, psychological, and social factors. It's not an issue of faith, you know. Mm. I hope you, you know that. It's not an issue of faith. Depression combines biological, psychological, and social factors, and these same became very important in, on the recovery of this pathology. Does the church have something to say here? Understanding that the adverse events of life play an important role in the development of these problems, the church should take responsibility in the prevention and recovery of them. People are suffering, and what is worse, they are suffering alone on the inside. We experience the way that Christ commanded us to love each other. So that may be one as we are one in John 17, 11. And by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. John 13, 35. And a good way to demonstrate the love between us is being concerned about our personal difficulties and facing them together. Therefore, it's fundamental to professionalize our counseling, spend time mentoring and sharing life together as a family where its members are concerned for and take care for one another. <coughs> Number three, the church should be capable of recognizing the social problems on its environment and reacting to them using the available resources. In Chile, we even have an important socioeconomic inequality, inequality that gets to be unjust. 
For many years, the evangelical church in my country was conformed by families who came preferably from the least accommodated classes. For some decades, this has been changing and, although it's, it is certain we are not yet a rich church, in our congregations we have professionals and businessmen and women in an amount that the previous generation would not have imagined. The church of the previous generation has had to fight against the social problems of its moment. Poverty, alcoholism, lack of education of its own members. I do not mean that these problems have disappeared from our churches, but today God is blessing in such a way that we can count on the human, economic, cultural and technological resources to face in an organized, formal and professional way the, necessi the necessities of our society outside the doors of our temples. The equalitarian access to health, domestic violence, criminal behavior, child neglection in all its expressions and so many other situations that have to do with the social injustice of a free and political stable country but still very limited in the access of the people to their resources. Until today, the Roman Catholic Church has taken this challenge with much, with much responsibility and effectiveness. Perhaps we thought, we are Baptists, thought that the correct teaching of the Bible was more important and we boasted ourselves of it. Without a doubt, this is fundamental. But I believe that we forgot the service to the society yeah. by the pure fact to show love like Jesus did. Yeah. Make the people experience God's love in a practical way. In the end, religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this. To look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself, oneself from being polluted by the world. James 1.25